Welcome to Demo Cinema Podcast. Hard rock metal gear thing, indie films, true crime, and a great monthly episode of Tales of Terror. It's all right here. So without further ado, here's your podcast host, Michael. Hey guys, this is Michael with a Demo Cinema Podcast. So guys, we are at the San Antonio Monster Con. Guys, uh, we're going to be actually interviewing today with uh, Robert Mutes from House of a Thousand Corpses. So we'll go ahead, we'll get this rocking and rolling. Guys, man, stay tuned. Let's do this. All right, Robert, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Definitely a pleasure. Robert, first question I have for you, obviously being the muscle of this movie, how was it? What was the experience like being around Sid Haig, Karen Black, uh, and, and obviously a great cast filled of just, it's iconic horror. It was pretty amazing. Actually, not only did we have a great cast, but we shot the movie at Universal Studios on their lot. Awesome. And so that in itself has so much history. We were just super excited. They take care of their actors. We had great food, equipment, trailers, etc. So it was just really, really cool to work on that project. Rob's a super cool laid back director. Uh, my colleagues, the uh, cast, was they were amazing. We just had a fantastic time making this scary movie. Absolutely. And again, it's saying that you were the muscle of this movie. I mean, obviously, you blew out the tires. You had, you have, you have a huge piece that sets up the motion for this film going forward. What would you say? What What is memorable, not just about your character, but about the film for you personally? For me personally, we shot a scene where we walked down the hill to the like the graveyard where we uh, we dump one of the bunnies into the casket, and my colleague here, Jennifer, takes off running. That night, it was so cold. And our costumes, my costume was, they were fortunate to be in the bunny outfits, but I had polyester pants, and that was before uh, Under Armour, and a thin shirt with uh, blood stain, fake blood on it, uh, the sheriff's costume and uniform, and I was freezing. It was so cold, my brain was starting to feel weird. Oh my God. But uh, we must have through that scene, and, and uh, it was awesome. Absolutely, and that's one of the things that I think is it's an it's an iconic look. It's very almost greenhousey with yeah. the way that it sees and it feels that eighties horror. Right. And is that something that personally for you that you truly love? I've always been a fan of horror, but the more mainstream Halloween, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Omen, Creep Show. I saw a T-shirt. One of my favorite films. Uh, uh, when I was 19, they were playing at the movie theaters. I was 19 at, in 1983. So I was driving to the uh, drive-in theaters, the movie theater, the drive-in theaters, where horror was really popular. So uh, it was great seeing the 1972 uh, Impala that the sheriff's car, uh, the sheriff drove. And, and I got to drive later in the film. Uh, it was just fantastic, man. Awesome. And so obviously you have a slew of resume that's on IMDb, everything from CSI, that I've, obviously we've seen you playing inmates, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. What is, what do you have that's coming up? Um, lately, I've been occupied with my daughters. I've got a 10-year-old and a 14-year-old, and they're both athletes in club sports, so I've been so busy with them. My agent got sick, and so I've tried out a couple new agents, but uh I haven't had any luck with the interviews, and it's okay with me. I think one agent said I need new photos, uh, new N.E.W., not nude. Uh, but uh, So I've been mostly focusing on my family. And uh, uh, once my girls get a little bigger, I give Hollywood another kick. But uh, I've been, I'm, I'm a hold for a couple of independent projects, but those are all uh, budget-related. Uh, uh, so uh, I still have a strong desire for acting, but right now I'm more focused on my daughters. Absolutely. And Robert, I want to thank you so much for coming on to Demo Cinema today. It's been awesome. Uh, man, 
all success in the future. And trust me, you're in the, one of the most iconic core films of all time. Thank you so much for your time today. Brother. We're very fortunate. I really appreciate the interview, and thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir.